Hey, welcome back, everybody. You are listening to Ultimate Affiliate Marketing. I am your host, as always. It's Paul Mutt here. And gosh, Wednesday, right, the hump of the week. We managed it. We got there eventually. Yes, crazy times. So anyway, this is exciting. Um, if you've been following along with the podcast for a while, you probably heard all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff that I like to put out there. But also, over the last few days, we've been talking about um, getting leads really cheap, right? So I am actually going to put my own money where my mouth is. And tomorrow, I am going to do a case study on this, right? So it's going to take me a little while to set up, but hopefully if I can get it done tomorrow, that'd be awesome and get it up and running. And I'd love to be able to report back the results on the podcast tomorrow night. So hopefully so. So what am I going to do? Well, first off, I need to create a lead magnet, what we call a lead magnet. And I'm going to actually put it out there onto Facebook as a lead ad. And I do need to connect up a couple of things. Um, the reason being is that if you use a lead ad with Facebook ads, then the actual leads go into a strange little folder hidden away inside of Facebook, which you can normally never find. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can do it via Zapio, or you can do it through Connect.io, which I'm going to use Connect.io because I love what Wilco decried as stuff. And I just want to give myself every advantage. So that is what I'm going to do. So what we're going to start out with is probably a lead magnet and then I'm going to probably run it to some sort of affiliate product after that. So it should be interesting to see. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to run a test. I'm going to do it and use the same interests right in my Facebook ad itself. I'm going to go wide. I'm going to go for probably affiliate marketing or something like that and just let Facebook optimize because Facebook actually has like over 50,000 touch points of data on us as personal users of Facebook, right? So the theory being behind that is it knows the people, it knows its own users better than we ever could, right? So, and I, I remember back to listening to a uh, another case study that um, Brian Moran did from Samcart where he actually tested this out and he, he actually used Facebook as his own ads manager almost and let Facebook go ahead and pick the people which... Uh, was that so it actually opens up another opportunity so i might not use any targeting whatsoever and let facebook get me the leads and then test it out using a very wide option of uh, getting leads so maybe i run uh, two or three tests in one go on this one so just have no audience targeting whatsoever just purely country based and then use a very wide um, audience, so like affiliate marketers, and again, using countrywide, um, so selected countries basically in the audience targeting. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know, hopefully, that you'll follow this. If this is all really confusing, then please go back and listen to the last five or six episodes of the podcast. And if it's your first time listening, then please make sure you subscribe and go back and listen to everything else that we've done because I do these podcasts every day and it's super important if you want to advance your affiliate marketing business because I give all you this stuff for free anyway, right? So you might as well go ahead and get it. Um, yeah, so the third option is going to be probably maybe a short qualifying video that I'll send out as an ad to start with and then build an audience of people. So I won't actually have a link on that video. I'm going to try and drive as many... Uh, as many people to that video as possible and then use the lead ad to target the people that watch the first video, right? So there's going to be th kind of like, well, three slash four ads that I'm going to be running. So hopefully I'll get this started up by tomorrow. Um, and obviously I'm going to document via this podcast to show you and share with you the results that I got because ultimately that's the whole point. And so... It's exciting. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because obviously I'm putting myself out there by stating this and saying this is what I'm going to do. So uh, if it results in no sales, it's going to be an utter uh, bomb. But no matter what happens, I am going to grow my email list. Right. And if everybody knows what I'm talking about as far as email list goes, that is your most valuable asset as a marketer, your email list. Right. This is why big companies go out and buy other companies not because they could immediately emulate the technology. They want to buy the customer list. They want to buy their email databases, 
right? That's the most valuable asset. And the sooner you get that through your head, the better, because that is what makes a difference in this business. So, yep, yeah, so that is what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully, by the time I record the podcast tomorrow night, I've got a little uh, far along or further along on this. And uh, I'll report back and let you know what I did and how far I've got and all that good stuff. So anyway, this is me putting myself out there because no one else is going to do it. And, and uh, looking forward to speaking to you again tomorrow and reporting back on progress.